I'm a type of an artist that has no plan, and my journey is long, more than 60 years. I desire something that is uh, on the poetical side. I desire something that has a philosophical, uh, existential uh, flavor, and I uh, have a great opinion of the phenomenon love. And within that phenomenon, being in love is the highest level. But that will kill you if you remain in that situation your whole life. That you will not survive. You will, you will die. <laughs> My way into the art started that I completely failed on everything else, you know. I was uh, dyslectic at the uh, primary school. I couldn't go through the, the middle school. So I uh, had become a kind of a worker when I was 16 years old. I was working in the forestry, by the forestry uh, thing in the countryside. And I came home to the flat where we lived with my key at five o'clock in the afternoon from the countryside after having been away for a few months in the forestry. Then my father uh, comes towards me. I say, ah, oh, sicky, sicky, oh, good to see you, my dear. So, and then he takes me into the, uh, into the living room and there was a man there in the sofa, alcohol dead, so. And my father said, Ludwig, Ludwig, look to my son. He's such a good uh, boy, and he's always drawing something, things, always making drawings and so. Can't you help him? And then the man <laughs> gets uh, awake, so. Yeah, good my lord. Give me a pen and pa pa paper on them. And uh, he starts to write here with, is that in an old spelling here, but so I saw that later. But is, what is your name? Sigurdur Sigurdur, Sigurdur Guðmannsson, a fully accept, accepted student at the Academy of Art Reykjavík. Take this on Monday morning. I went with this paper, you know. It was just a, like a servant, you know, almost. Napkin, napkin, nap, um, napkin. And uh, the officer said, yeah, 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 come, come, come here, come here, come here. Completely accepted. connection with photography when I worked for 15 years only in photography because I didn't uh, feel it as photograph photography. I felt it more like um, sculpture or, or poetry. Uh, you know, I was always visible myself this year. I, I experienced the man there as a stand-in for something and I could not replace him because there was some connection in that I cannot explain, you know. It is different to have something kind of playing an, a man or being the man with the, with the desire to meet nature, uh, digging himself down to the earth, put a stick on his head and have two hor hor horizons, one of the nature and one with the stick on the heads. Uh, uh, they were called and I started to call them the situations, you know. I wanted, I wanted to call them something else than photos. I would categorize them as a, a very disciplined, uh, minimalistic uh, romantic with uh, articulated feelings, very sharp articulated feelings that took away all the things that didn't belong to there. You cannot fake attraction, you know, if you are attracted by a work, always by another, you know, because my work cannot possibly attract me, because that's the end of my story, my little story. 
when I was at the school that they talked about, uh, Iceland Reykjavik Art School, then uh, the teachers were always warning the kids <laughs> for not getting too influenced. For them that meant the same as, don't do the same as he or she. For instance, after that uh, you have been uh, having a major uh, fascination uh, moment with an artwork, then you s start seeing new things around you, you know, that you had seen before but not seen. That takes you one step into the new time or something like that. We're going to first of all, just go on to the turf. Then we're going to go completely bijstellen dat die hele strakke contours komen daarin en uh, ga ik erop liggen om uh, die exacte lengte te bepalen. Dan doen we een kleine pauze en dan ga ik werken aan de boeken, de broden, schoenen, om dat uh, een beetje vast aan elkaar te binden. I had been working with the photo situation for 10 years, maybe, at that time. So I wanted to make an uh, artwork that uh, would not play on this, uh, on this vibrating notes of philosophy and uh, emotions and so on. I, I enjoyed, in my mind, I enjoyed very much how stupid, you know, to put the bread here and the book here and the shoes down there. My God, my God. That is not very uh, sophisticated. It is very lump, you know. Yet I liked it very much. And another thing in uh, this old photographs of mine, or poem, there was never something adjusted uh, by uh, Photoshop. Photoshop didn't exist, of course. So everything was completely real. For instance, the things where I have the bulbs on here. This was a wire work and it was holding it was real uh, foam and I, I would bite the letters out, out of me and uh, with the horizontal thoughts my brother is sitting here or I am sitting here and my brother here and we have this thing out. You can see it on the photo that out of our, our sweaters, you see the iron come out. But uh, uh, the people from, young people from now do, do not, you know, of course they think it's all Photoshop. Which in, in my old heart, it is not you know, as, uh, it is a great difference, you know, if it was drawn in, you know, or not. That ma makes the whole thing, you know, for me. The work fairy tale, is uh, it is children's clay that I used, and uh, there is a uh, saying in many countries. You know, if you stand under the rain rainbow, you have a, you can make a wish. It's not a person, not like a character in a detective uh, books or so. He is actually uh, has no specific character. He is. Uh, without character. The, the conversation was uh, made in 71, I guess, something like that. Instead of there is a human being standing there, there are thinking uh, things, the, the shoal, yeah. The shoal is warning the heap that it will come and chop it away, you know. And the heap of sand thinks, a shoal talking? <laughs> I never uh, uh, think, no, I'm going to do something very humorful or something like that, no. Humor is a thing that makes you smile or laugh. Uh, when you are confronted with the unusual and at the same time you are bearing the picture of the uh, conventional in your head. It is this uh, 
boom, together, then you laugh. I never try to be funny in my work. And I, uh, but I never get insulted and uh, I always take it as a compliment. I actually, I take many things as a compliment, maybe too many of the critic, you know, <laughs> the also. Language is here, it is very dominant by us, the Icelandic artists. Uh, this, uh, you know, our uh, main uh, culture uh, when it comes to art was poetry in this country. Everybody was, everybody was a poet here, you know. Then in the visual art, which is a, a very young thing in, in the Icelandic culture, we went, uh, me, my generation, and the generation before me, maybe also, into it with a, with a literary attitude somehow. I always delight in, in, in when critics were talking about uh, the, the visual language, and I said, no, there is no visual language. Because if the work is, uh, is uh, succeeding, you have to start again. Every new work requires a new language then. Is that language? That, that is not language. You make the form for it. Nietzsche said, every new truth requires a new language. My body, physical body, needs something to eat. And I cannot sit here in this chair and the food comes through in my mouth. The same counts for my, uh, uh, my spiritual uh, desires, you know. My, that is hungry when you have a crisis, uh, create a crisis, then your spirit is hungry. And then I go, out, I go to concerts, I go to this, I buy books, of course, and read and so on, feed and go to exhibitions, and um, in the end, I always, uh, uh, there's always a moment that I am fascinated. I know that uh, what we do, the artists, we all give some kind of an embodiment on uh, things that we experience fascinates us. We have to uh, f find our own ways, very personal ways, to uh, get there. Therefore, uh, uh, that is something that schools cannot uh, teach you. It is something that you get just by doing it and trying again and again. And then our manners are, are different. This is beautiful. It would be boring if everybody would be like me, <laughs> my God. I would commit suicide. <laughs>